हाई एवरी वन आई एम मधु सो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज क्वेश्चन नंबर वन फ्रॉम एक्साइज सेवन पॉइंट वन ऑफ चैप्टर नंबर सेवन ट्राइंगल्स सो दिस क्वेश्चन इज इन क्वारल ए सी बी डी सो यू कैन सी इन द फिगर देर इज अ क्वारल ए सी बी डी ए सी इज इक्वल टू ए डी दिस लाइन सेगमेंट ए सी इट इज इक्वल टू द लाइन सेगमेंट ए डी इट इज गिवन इन द क्वेश्चन एंड एंड ए बी बाइसेप्ट एंगल ए सो दिस लाइन सेगमेंट ए बी और यू कैन से ए बी सो दिस लाइन सेगमेंट ए बी इज बाइसेक्टिंग दिस एंगल ए यू कैन बाइसेक्टिंग मीन्स डिवाइडिंग दैट एंगल और दैट साइड इन टू टू इक्वल पार्ट सो इफ दिस लाइन सेगमेंट ए बी इज बाइसेक्टिंग दिस एंगल ए इट मीन्स दैट इट इज डिवाइडिंग दिस एंगल इन टू टू इक्वल पार्ट वॉट डज दैट मीन दैट दिस पार्ट दिस पोर्शन of this angle and this portion will be equal because the line segment ab is bisecting the complete angle then show that angle uh, triangle abc is congruent to triangle abd so uh, we have to show that this triangle abc this upper triangle is congruent to the triangle abd means this lower triangle so we have to prove both these triangles congruent then What can you say about BC and BD? So the question is asking, uh, actually asking that what can we say about BC and BD? So first we will prove them congruent, and then we will talk about the line segment BC and BD. So how we are going to prove these both triangles congruent? So first of all, you can see that it is given in the question that AC is equal to AD. AC line segment is the part of this triangle. and ad line segment is a part of this triangle so hence we can write ac is equal to ad and the reason which we will give in the bracket it will be given because it is given to us in the question that they are equal so they are equal now for proving both the triangles congruent we need three conditions one condition we have got two sides are equal then one more we need so now you can see it was given in the question that ab is bisecting the complete angle a it means that it is dividing uh, dividing it into two equal parts so hence we can write that angle bac is equal to angle bad we can write that because these both angles will be equal because line ab line segment is bisecting the complete angle so we can write angle bac BAC is equal to angle BAD, and in the bracket, the reason which we will write it will be AB bisects AB bisects angle A. So if AB will bisect angle A, it means it will divide it into two equal parts. So two conditions we have got one side and one angle. Now one more condition here we need to prove them congruent. So you can notice that that in both the triangles their base is common. The base is coming in both the triangles line segment AB. So you can see that AB is coming in this triangle also ABC and AB line segment is there is a part of this triangle as well ABD. So hence we can write that AB. is equal to ab and the reason what we are going to write is we will write them common because this line segment is common in both the triangles so they are common these are both line segment this line segment is common in both the triangles so here we have got three conditions two side and one angle so hence we can write that angle ab abc is congruent to triangle abd and by which congruence rule it will be by sas side angle side because we have got two side and one included angle equal so these both triangles will be congruent by sas congruence rule so hence we can write therefore triangle triangle abd triangle abc is congruent to triangle abd by S A S congruence rule. S A S congruence rule. So now we have proved them congruent. Now the question is asking that what can we say about B C and B D? So 
we can say about what can we say about bc and bd these line segments so now we have proved these both triangles congruent so we can write that bc and bd will be equal because they are the corresponding parts of the congruent triangles so hence we can write bc is equal to bd by cpct so i am writing it here bc bc is equal to bd and the reason what we are going to give is it will be by cpct corresponding parts of congruent triangles so by cpct these both line segments will be equal cpct so hence they are equal so we have proved them congruent and then the rest of the parts the rest of the corresponding parts will be equal so this was question number 1 from exercise 7.1 now let's move on towards our next question